Do we have a lot of catching up to do with technology? Yeah, we do need to, to catch up. Um, a lot of the innovation that we're about to see is, um, is innovation in regulations. And I don't think that that's an oxymoron. I don't think that we should be um, stilted in our understanding of regulations and jurisprudence. I think that we need to be quite positive. Um, jurisprudence is really like a contest of ideas. It's like an arena in which um, human rights ultimately plays out. Um, I like to draw the analogy to the early black gold rush in the 1800s, the 1850s. We, um, Western civilization, discovered this raw material crude oil and we started to burn it and we know where that's led. But the more important thing about crude oil is that, is that it is the raw material that gets broken down and reconstructed and it forms um, almost everything that we do in the, in the established economy. Now information is going to be the same. What happened with the black gold rush was that um, a whole lot of new laws and regulations had to be formed in order to reset the balance of human rights and commercial rights and, and free enterprise. In the days of the black gold rush, it was not uncommon for uh, pioneers and, and entrepreneurs to be barging their way through <clears throat> landholders and um, um, invading people's properties and, and, and helping themselves to these riches underneath the ground. Now, we're seeing the same thing playing out now. We're seeing an incredible rush, um, a, a gold rush for information in the, in the digital economy. There is data everywhere. And there is a, an intuition, I think a false intuition, on the part of entrepreneurs and pioneers that this data that's out there in the public domain is theirs for the keeping, just like the old gold rush people used to invade properties and help themselves. Now, we're going to see a, a, a contest of ideas. We're going, to see a, 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 we're going to see human rights playing out in the, in the public arena where people are going to quite rightly assert their their rights and assert their interests, assert their human rights around the data that's being exploited almost behind their back. And I think that in the next 10, 15 years, we're going to see new, new laws and new regulations and new ways of thinking about how do we balance commercial rights and commercial gain versus the rights of the individuals affected by these digital innovations.